Okay, welcome again. We will build a custom component with input parameters. So, what do we do? Insert custom component. New property. We will call it name. First name. Input. Let's create. New custom property. Last name. Input. Create. Now we will put a label. We will type here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, C O M E. Welcome. Uh, what? <coughs> Center. Oh. Then two labels. Insert label one. Label two. Label. This label will print the value. How many variables we have? Last name, first name. Okay. So we'll put here first name. So component one. One dot first name. This will be, we'll copy this. We paste it here. Paste. Stop typing, man. Last name. Why, why, why? Oh, what's, <laughs> what is this? LSAT name. <laughs> there it is. Don't laugh. Okay. First name and then this one is last name, first name. Okay. Good job. Now we will use, okay. This is our component. Welcome, first name, last name are the two input parameters. Remember, we are going to pass it from the screen. So we go to the screen, we create custom component one and that's it. And we put it here with the properties, two properties. Which one property? First name. We will put and the next property last name we will put Ayan. Welcome Alfia and Ayan. This is coming from the component, not from here. The component has welcome text text and the screen has welcome. Suppose I want to put another instance of this control, so I'll insert custom component. Welcome text text. I want to change this to first name. Oh, Shahrukh. No, Rambo. No, no, George. Okay, one of my students has pointed that N is missing. Good job, Alfia. Okay, George and the last name will be... Oh, man. Okay, whatever. So, diff two set of this control and two instance of the control we are passing different parameters to this control one parameter is first name one parameter is last name that's it this is custom component with input parameter